Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. It's amazing how quickly these pranks escalate. Haha, <laughs> it's a funny rubber snake. It's not a real snake, you crazy lady. Now I'm gonna push you out a window. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Keen and welcome back to Mobile Monday. Today we are back in Scary Teacher 3D, which had an update that adds a whole new set of levels. So before we only had episode one and episode two, which was 15 total levels. Now we have episode three, which adds an additional 10 levels. And what I'm hoping for is that they actually address the story of this game and that implication that Miss T, the neighbor's sister, killed her own husband, chopped him up into pieces of meat and stuck him in her freezer. I I can't even make that up. This is the story of this game, but then they just cut it off. They just, they just stopped the story and you never find out how or why or what or any of that. And I was really getting into it, honestly. I really wanted to know what was going on in Miss T's head. So I'm hoping that episode three gives us a few more answers. So let's go ahead, jump in here. Oh, I have to download it. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll just sit here for the next, I don't know. Two minutes. I'm just gonna stare at you guys while while it downloads. This is awkward. Is it is it awkward? It's this pretty awkward. I'm not. I'm I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna stare at you guys while it downloads. No, it downloaded a lot faster than I expected. I was actually trying not to blink there. It didn't work. Okay, it's done. Download complete. Let's go. Episode 3, 10 fresh levels of Scary Teacher 3D. <laughs> Let's do this. More, more weird stuff. More pranks. Whoa. What? We're in a brand new house. Miss T is searching something in Shed. Distract her by throwing that stone away. Get key from Shed and enter the house. Wait, wait a second. Wait just one second. I've seen this house before. I know this house. This is the house of Butcher 3D or whatever the name of that other game was that we played where the, we were getting chased by the guy with the cleavers. What the heck? <laughs> Miss T is over here now. Okay. I, I just, I don't understand. All right. She's, she's running over there. We got the weird camera up in the upper left hand corner showing her running off in the distance. Okay. Do, so do I need to, I need to go in here and grab the key. Oh, naughty cat again. oh, naughty cat. It was a naughty cat. All right. Sure. Lady, whatever you say. Uh, now open the door through this key and enter the house. I will do that. Let's go ahead and open up the door. There we go. We're inside. Bam. We've done it. Virtual neighbor spooky adventure. I don't know. I don't think I've played that one. <laughs> oh gosh. That's how we found Butcher 3D is the ad popped up while we were playing this game and we ended up playing it. So we, we may end up playing this one. Virtual neighbor spooky adventure. Hmm. Sounds sounds fascinating. Okay, let's move on to the next level. Let's now that we've gotten inside of the butcher's house. So you, I mean, in our own little story, in our own narrative, um, they're all related, right? Enter the house, get the rubber snake from the cupboard, and place it over sofa so that it scared Miss T when she sits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that's something that we can do. We can definitely do that. All right, let's go inside. But what I was thinking is that like, you know, they're all related. So I guess I guess Miss T is visiting her other brother here who happens to be a butcher. And didn't he didn't he like lose his wife? He, he didn't kill his wife. He lost his wife from some kind of tragic accident and then it turned him into an absolute maniac. Yeah, I, I don't know. That was a weird story as well. I don't feel like we're gonna get much uh, in the way of answers to Miss T's past here from this, but who knows, maybe this is the past. Place it on the sofa in the TV lounge and go away. I, isn't, this, isn't this the TV lounge? I mean, I see a TV and I kinda, that kinda looks like a sofa. 
sort of maybe it's a futon oh oh put it on the the armchair not the sofa that's an armchair okay that's what had me confused oh okay hello lady use run button to escape yes i can do that i can do that why does why is it so easy though why does oh gosh i can't get out of the corner Get me out. I'm moving too fast. I'm moving too fast now. Okay. Is she going to get scared? <laughs> is there a secret witch inside? It, is there a secret witch inside? What is she talking about? Also, I think I may have just... No? Oh, I thought the game kind of glitched out. Because normally we get the little camera in the corner to see her reaction. But I don't know. Miss T, she's just a weird lady. Yay, we got more coins that we... Don't know what to spend on. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, now what? Open the basement door and throw. I think that's throw a stone there to distract Miss T and then go and mix some vinegar in her food. <laughs> that's what this game boils down to is us playing escalating pranks on Miss T. I think at one point in one of the previous episodes, we actually like started like tagging the inside of her house with spray paint. We were like putting graffiti inside of her house. It's pretty awful. What is that? Murderer, you killed me. What? What? What is going on in this house? I don't know if I like this. All right. Well, let's uh, let's throw that stone. Which did I did I pick up a stone at some point? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna pick up the stone. Now go and mix vinegar in- Hey! Whoa! 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 Back off, lady! Okay. She caught us. We lost, so we need to try again, I guess. Yeah, restart. Okay, so as soon as we grab the stone, she starts running to the basement. Do we go into the basement, maybe? Maybe that's how we get away? Like, actually move into the basement? I don't know. This game is so weird. Miss T, why are you such a weirdo? Why you got me so weird? Alright, grab the stone. And then she she didn't see us. She didn't see us. Okay, so now we have the vinegar in hand. And now Who's there in my basement? Who's there in my basement? She said. Nobody. Alright, we put the vinegar in her food. She's coming back. <laughs> She's coming back <laughs> to eat her dinner. Her lovely dinner. She can face through walls as well. It's... It tastes so bad. Yes. Yeah, she's very upset that we that we did that to her. Okay. <laughs> what a weird game. Oh my goodness. I love it. Let's go. So what is this? Level four? I think this is level four. So let's see what we got going on here. Knock the main door to distract Miss T. Then go to the room and break her TV. See? See how things escalate? I mean, it's one thing to ruin someone's dinner or to like trick them into sitting or, or, or thinking that there's a snake in their house or something but breaking a tv that's an expensive piece of equipment and we're just gonna smash it because haha <laughs> funny pranks all right knock on the door now go into the room through the window okay i can do that i love how it just it walks you through every single step come on game have a little bit more faith in me i can figure it out okay we jumped into the window now we're gonna grab the TV and smash it. We have smashed the TV. Now we need to go away. How do I? No, she's she's coming though. She's she. How am I supposed to? Oh gosh, I'm just I'm just gonna hide in this corner. It, oh, she went in there. <laughs> I didn't even see her get in there. She's so mad. This is like a Hulk scream in there. <laughs> oh man. All right, next level. Let's do this. More, more pranks on Miss T, and then suddenly we'll find out that she murdered, like, a child and stuffed them in his, in her basement or something. You know, it really escalates fast. Miss T is lying in bathtub. Go find her lipstick in bedroom. Paint mustaches on her picture while she's in the bathtub. Look at her in the bathtub. She looks dead. She doesn't even look like she's alive anymore. Oh, this game, it just never stops giving. It's the gift that keeps on giving. All right, we want to go into her room, grab her lipstick, and draw mustaches on her paintings. Is this, this is not her room, okay? Is this her room? Nope, that is also not her room. Is this her room? No. Oh, she's in there. That's the bathroom. My bad. Sorry for interrupting your bath. 
<laughs> if you can call it that. She's just laying in an empty bathtub with her clothes on, of course. She, she, honestly, she looks dead. She does not look like she's alive anymore. Okay, paint mustaches. Yes! That's exactly what lipstick looks like when you put it on a painting. It turns into a little black mustache. Oh man, this game is magic. Look. Oh, we ruined her favorite photo. We are just terrible, terrible little pranksters, aren't we? We're making pretty quick work of these levels. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Miss T is dozing in study. You need to sneak into the room, get her favorite horror story book. You need to burn it by throwing it into the fireplace, I think is what it said. The text moved very fast. It just kind of disappeared. Okay, so we're going to burn her favorite horror book, which is going to terrify her for some reason. I don't really understand the connection there, but let's, let's find this room. Is this it? No, that's not the room we're looking for. That's the room where we smash the TV, right? Because there's no TV in there anymore. Over here. Nope, that's the kitchen. What? What is this? It's just like a bucket of... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and say that's just a bucket of red paint. But, uh, we all know what it could also be. So, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I like that. Let's cheat. Okay, I think she's in here. I think this is the room. Is it? No, that's not the room. What the heck? Where is this stinking room? Must be the one that I keep passing. No, it's not this one. This is where she ate her vinegar food. It's not this one. This is like a little bedroom. So is it going to be the very last room that I explore? Probably. Yep. Yep. It definitely is. Okay, perfect. Let's grab this thingy and then throw it into the fireplace. Now oh, what? Oh, we were supposed to hide behind the bookshelf. Gosh. All right, let's try this again. I think I remember where it is, right? This this was it? Was it? Yes, okay. So we grab the book, and then we want to hide behind the bookshelf. Get behind the bookshelf. Yes. Okay. What? What did I actually do? Did I, so, did I, oh, okay, you know what, when I picked the book up off of the mantle, I threw it into the fireplace in one motion. I thought that I had to pick the book up and then put it in the fireplace. That's why I was confused, but I was actually throwing it into the fireplace and then hiding while she just cries about her book getting burned and speculates that her house has ghosts or something. She's, she's kind of, she's losing her mind, I think. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of chapter three. And uh, I'm interested to see how it ends. Moving, oh, Miss T is moving between kitchen and TV room. You need to sneak into basement and get a trap from there and place that trap in bedroom. Attach it with window. Oh, gosh, these, these instructions are very, very specific. So we need to go into the basement, get a trap, and then place it in her bedroom. Is this like a bear trap? Because bear traps will literally like rip your, your, your leg off. We're gonna maim this woman. Why? Why are we doing this? I don't know. But but the game is telling us to, so we have to. We have to do it. Go into the basement and grab the trap. Is it right over here? It's just rope. That's not... What is... What? There's a box and rope? Okay, now I'm just very confused. Let's uh place a trap attached to window in the bedroom. So we have to go upstairs, I believe. Into the room where we painted the the mustache onto her painting. Was it this room right here? Yes. Where did her painting go? Oh, I miss I miss the art. It was so beautiful. Uh, is this the window? Yes, this is the window. Okay, now go away. Why why is the game so bossy? Why is it always telling me what to do? All right, we're gonna just hide in the corner over here. She's gonna head up there. And we're gonna see what this actually does. I mean, it was literally a rope and a box. Oh. It's hanging from the ceiling. So she's gonna open that and oh my gosh! We just <laughs> we just knocked her out of a second story window. She's she's an older woman. She probably has osteoporosis. She must have broke some bones there. That that was that was awful. We just sent her to the hospital. It's amazing how quickly these pranks escalate. Haha, <laughs> it's a funny rubber snake. It's not a real snake, you crazy lady. Now I'm gonna push you out a window. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's messed up. Miss T is making pizza in the kitchen. Turn on radio to distract her. Go and increase the temperature of oven so it will burn her pizza as well as her oven. So, okay. So let's just let's just get this straight. We we pushed her out a window, probably sent her to the hospital. She's probably had to be in like a full body cast for like eight weeks. And then and then we we go back, she gets back to her house after getting back from the hospital, and she's making herself a pizza, and we're gonna burn her pizza. Like how I mean, just they don't they don't quite match up. We push her out a window and then we burn her pizza. Ha ha ha. Gotcha, lady. This see, this kid is demented. This kid has issues. Seriously. Like you just these are not pranks anymore. They, I mean, burning someone's pizza is one thing. Like, yeah, it's a waste of food. It's kind of messed up. But pushing someone out a window, that is not a prank anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've taken it too far. And now you're trying to roll it back here. We're trying to backpedal by just by burning her pizza. Where the heck is the kitchen? Please. Is there a kitchen somewhere in this house? Why am I having such a hard time finding it? This must be it. I think this is the last room that we haven't been in. Okay. Yes. Oh, no. We need to turn on the radio in the bedroom first. Right. Of course. I should have I should have known because the game tells you like a million times. So where is the bedroom? Is it this room right here? I don't think so. It's definitely not this room. The butcher room. Creepy. Oh, she's coming. Uh-oh. Wait, no, no, she's she's doing something. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, turn on the radio. Now she's gonna walk in here. Some weird radio station. She's very mad about the loud music. Now we're heading into the kitchen and we are going to burn her pizza. That is not an oven. That is, oh no, 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 no. Back off. Back off, lady. I am inside of your cabinets right now. What in the world is going on? Okay. She's she's very upset. Um, what I was gonna say is that is not an oven. That's an outside barbecue. Like, that's supposed to be in your backyard, not inside of your kitchen. Seems like a fire hazard. I guess it's possible that we could have burned down her house in that moment, and that would have fit the whole escalation of pranks. First, we break all the bones in her body, and then we burn down her house. <laughs> funny, funny pranks. Yay. All right. Miss T is preparing her clothes for bath. First, grab the matchstick from the shelf, and then throw a pan on the floor to distract her. Now go to bedroom and burn her clothes. She will cry. I mean, yeah. We're gonna burn her wardrobe, and again, possibly burn down her entire house. Okay, this is such a weird game. So first we need the matchsticks from the kitchen. Here we go, grab the matchsticks, good. Now, we throw the saucepan on the floor to distract Miss T. We have done it. She's going to head downstairs, so we're gonna wait for her to head downstairs. Yes, here she comes. Heartbeats are getting louder. Hopefully she doesn't spot us. She did not. So now we go upstairs and we light her clothes on fire because again, just funny pranks. Funny, fun time pranks. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. It's awful. That's a giant matchstick. It's a very, very large matchstick. Okay. This seems incredibly dangerous. She has clothes burning in her bedroom. and She's going to be very upset about that and probably slightly freaked out. I know I would. <laughs> I would not just waltz up to it like that. Yes, we have, we, she's just, she's just very upset. We burned her favorite dress. Yeah, after throwing her out of a window. Let's not forget the fact that we threw her out of a window. I think this might actually be the last level if I'm counting right. But honestly, I haven't really been counting. Steal her biscuits from the kitchen. She will search for them. Now she is going to buy biscuits in her car. You will find a spike strip upstairs. Place them in front of her car. Oh my gosh, we're going to pop all the tires in her car. Do you know how expensive it is to replace tires? This is awful. We're a terrible, terrible little person. This is a terrible prank. Okay. 
All right, let's do it. We're gonna steal her cookies, and we know how much she loves her cookies. If her cookies disappear, she immediately gets in her car and goes to the store to replenish her cookies. She must always have cookies in her house. Okay, where is the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? No, that's not the kitchen. I should really know where the rooms are at this point, but I don't. I have no idea. Okay, there's the biscuits, cookies, whatever you want to call them. Now we need to get the spike strip. Oh, hello, lady. Wow. She was right there. That is very rude. Okay, let's try this again. I guess this time we'll go into the kitchen, of course. We'll grab the cookies, but we'll want to go in a different direction. Let's see. It's over here, right? Am I, am I losing my mind? No, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so we wanna go out this door. So let's grab the cookies and then go out this door right here since she's gonna come in through the front door. Now we need to go to the second floor, which is... Just gotta get some more biscuits, see? See? So we need to go upstairs and then grab the spike strip. Also, why does this lady have a spike strip in her house. It's kind of a weird thing to just have laying around. You think she's part of some kind of law enforcement <laughs> agency? I don't know. The plot thickens. She kills her husband and then becomes a police officer. I don't know. Okay, we got the spike strip. Now we need to head downstairs and place it in front of her car because we're an awful, terrible person. So let's go ahead, go out the front door. It looks like it's lit up for us, so we can just place the spike strip right in that very beautiful glowing spot. Bam! Just like that. And of course, on as if on cue, as soon as we place the spike strip, she starts heading to her car to ruin all of the <laughs> to ruin all of the tires in her her little Mini Cooper over there. She's walking very slow. Okay, there she goes. And oh gosh. She just, she just crashed into a tree! We caused her to crash into a tree once again, probably sending her to the hospital and having to be put in a full body cast. Once again, just awful. We're awful people. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that it? Did we finish it? I think we finished it. Yeah, that was it. Go to episode three. Bam, we've completed all 10 of the new levels in Scary Teacher 3D. We have done it. We've become the world's greatest prankster. I mean, it's those are some pretty, pretty bad pranks. And also, a little disappointed that we didn't learn any more about Miss T. The level, episode one, again, it's like you have all this buildup to her killing her husband and putting him in a freezer and then no, no payoff. No information about it. No additional any any little story notes about it nothing nothing they just leave you hanging and then you move to a brand new house in episode three why is she in this house also by the way is she actually visiting her butcher brother <laughs> It's all very, very strange. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Scary Teacher 3D. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.